Oh my God, the worst tattoo idea. I get asked that question so many times. And that I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's a lack of effort to make those bad ideas be cool, be good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to come out right. on TV pretty we, soon. We have a show full of bad tattoo ideas. <laughs> the worst tattoo idea, well, if you go on Snake Pit, you'll probably see like every single one of the worst tattoo ideas. Have you guys heard of Snake Pit? I hate my mom on this guy's forehead. It's probably still the worst idea that somebody's brought up. It's always all about anime. So apart from like some weird matches, like for example, uh, Jafar kissing Aladdin and like uh, Jasmine crying on the back. I mean, it's always, you know, less than smart to get somebody's name tattooed on you. So I mean, realistically, that's probably the age old one. Put a star on a guy's penis. Well, he said, how much for a star on my penis? And I said, $1,000, which was the highest number I thought I could come up with right then and there. Mind you, this was uh, maybe two, 2000, 2001. He's like, oh, he's like, uh, you're killing my vibe. And I'm like, you're killing my vibe. Like, I don't want to see your penis. I don't want to touch your penis. And he, he was like, okay, how much for two stars? And I'm all, $2,000. But there was a moment where I was like, damn, I think he's, he's thinking about the price. He might do it. I've definitely done some of the worst tattoos I've been asked to do on How Far Is Tattoo Far. Uh, last season, I was asked to do a ball sack um, on a girl's ass, and she was a pageant queen. She did not want it. She tried to get it lasered, and apparently it's not going away because I did my best job. I had this guy, I had this guy once email me and request two forearm tattoos, one of Nicki Minaj on a stripper pole and one of Amber Rose spread eagle and an American flag. I got an email once from this lady requesting. It was this novel. It was like a paragraph this big and she was requesting the classic Disney scene from The Lion King. Um, Hokuna Matata, where Simone, Pumba, and, and um, Simba are dancing on the log, right? Full color. But she wanted the three of them, instead of being the three characters, to be her three pets. And then she went on to give me a list of each individual pet, their personality, their stats, like they're a Twitter profile each. But she wanted me to design, to look like Disney, her cats in the Hakuna Matata pose on the log. One of the worst tattoo ideas that I've been approached with is uh, I think a girl came into the shop one day. She wanted her, uh, her man's name on her, but this was her sixth time getting it. And it was her uh, above her vagina. So not to mention when I went to go do it, she didn't shave. What was I supposed to do? You was expecting me to shave? I'm not gonna shave that shit, all right? You need to take your ass in the bathroom with that razor and get it done, all right? Oh, Jay's been man. here when I've done butthole tats. Oh, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. that, that's what pops up the when you call me. Yeah, she has it as my uh, profile picture. Yeah, just tatting buttholes. Yeah. Some, uh, one of my clients' dads asked me to tattoo on his inner arm a ship and a bottle, but it's a pirate ship with a duck standing on the deck smoking a joint. I thought it was a... Uh... Uh, hopefully the person doesn't hear it, but either way one time I thought it was a joke and they'd sent me basically what they wanted the, the dude was explaining to me going on how he's the He's the top um, unknown uh, fighter in the world uh, for I don't know martial arts or something and He's like I think you can really pull off this tattoo idea this concept. I really want and basically he wanted like some kind of like geometric thing. He was gonna explain it more to me, but basically to make it look like he's blurred. So when he's moving fast, it would look like you, you couldn't see him really, you know? And it was just like absolutely out there, just ridiculous. I thought it was a joke, but I don't think it was. I had a friend, uh, not a friend, his uh, client, his name was uh, Nathan, and he wanted seven cherry blossoms um, to represent the seven years he spent in jail kind of thing. He wanted, um, each cherry blossom to be black to represent the darkness he spent in um, solitary confinement and then he wanted um, each of the, the cherry blossoms to like drip water kind of thing um, to represent the tears 
that he spent when he was crying in the shower, I guess. I had this, I had this guy, he like, uh, kind of a heavy set guy. He, he asked me to uh, tattoo abs on him. He wanted them nicely shaded in. He wanted to be able to flex when he goes out to have a suit. Um, but I couldn't do it. You know, it, was, it was a little hard for me to wrap my mind around that I had to pass. The worst tattoo idea that I ever encountered, I actually did. So when I first started tattooing, I worked at this like really grimy little street shop. Um, and I was the new person there, and they were like hazing me, and they obviously didn't want me to work there. Um, so somebody came in, and since I was still like earning my spot at the shop, you know, I couldn't say no to anything that walked in the door. So this guy came in, and he wanted a tattoo like right above his junk. And it was like authorized personnel, like no trespassing. So he comes in to get it tattooed. He wants it in all red ink. He wants it like this big, like super tiny above his junk. And I go to stencil him, and he hasn't even shaved. So I had to send him in the bathroom. He shaves himself, he cuts himself every Everywhere. It, it, the whole thing's a disaster, but I still did the tattoo and definitely got respect from my coworkers for doing the tattoo. But it wasn't a fun experience at all and he did not sit well. At the same shop, I got the worst couple tattoo idea ever, right? So picture like Beverly Hillbilly couple and they come in and they decide they want belly chains, right? Husband and wife, like real sloppy trailer park people. But they want belly chains that connect so when they stand next to each other, it looks like they're tied together by their bellies. Um, so I was still going to do it, obviously, because, you know, I was earning my bones at the shop, but they didn't agree on the price. Like I charged, I asked for a ridiculous amount of money because I didn't want to do it. And they were like, well, you didn't even go to college to do this. And I was like, all right, well, get out of my shop. So the, <laughs> the worst <laughs> tattoo idea that I've gotten from season one of How Far Is Tattoo Far would have to be the devil baby. Yeah. He got, he got literally full blown uh, 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 the spawn of Satan tattooed in, in his crotch area, and it wasn't fun to do. It wasn't fun to do for me or for him. I had this guy once, he asked me to do uh, a bunch of corpse and stuff, and like hanging people, and very, very gory. Um, and I even asked him if you want some dead babies in it. <laughs> but no, no, I didn't do that. I like to do horror stuff, a little gory, but not. Not too much, you know? I gotta keep it artistic still. A lot of the times, like, people come to you with ideas and saying it's the worst idea is mainly because the client doesn't really know how to compose things. But sometimes you get ideas that just don't really make sense and there's no way you can make them better even if, ha de depending on how good of an artist you are, it's gonna look like a mess. And this guy wanted to get a half sleeve that was, the theme was Digimons, which is kind of like Pokemon, similar thing, but a little bit different. So Digimons done in like a Victorian line etching style, but composed so it looked like hieroglyphs. And that just didn't make any sense. And from the beginning, I was like, there's no way you can make this work, I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, there's so many that, that I don't even know, but I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna tell you, I worked in a really ghetto shop in New York many years ago the easiest money I ever made, but I didn't even talk to the clients. They would come with the stencil and tell me this, this much. And people was getting like, I remember off the bat, I remember this guy, this girl who was getting a spider web on her ass with a number 13, like inside her butt almost. And she was a super cute girl, ghetto as fuck, but super cute girl and young. And then, you know, as I'm tattooing her, I'm like, well, I, I did it, I'm sorry, I did it. <laughs> I was young and I needed the money. Uh, and she was like, oh, this is my man's uh, basketball number. I'm like, okay, that's, that's a mistake. And then halfway through the tattoo, I realized that her man was somebody else's man. You know, she was the side chick of this dude who was a ball player. And I was just like, oh my God. And she had like a perfect ass and you're like, oh my God, you just went down so many. Like, it was a, if it was an Uber drive, uh, driver, she just lost a lot of stars. Yeah, I did do, yeah, nah, well, whatever. I did, I did do some guy's forehead. I did a big old thing on his forehead. He was cool, but you know, the crazy, I don't know if it was bad, but I did snotty nose bastards on his forehead real big. So the thing is, you know, I ended up doing it and I could just feel like, you know, I could just feel my Catholic mom just going, oh, you know? 
I did it anyways, and it just kept going up 10% on the Xerox machine. And then finally I was like, nah, I can't do that. I'm gonna feel too bad. You know, I can't do this to, to, to dude. And then, um, you know, I kind of threw this Hail Mary like price, like, okay, I'll bend my ethics for this. The kid comes back and goes, yeah, 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 cool, you will do it. I was like, all right, looks like you're getting your fucking face tattooed today. Looks great, glad you got it. I think it, I, I put, I like it in the dot, dot, dot across this girl's back. Lower back. Lower back, <laughs> full tramp stamp, like a billboard, hot pink, two colors of pink, hot pink into like a dull pink. <laughs> Maybe when I was younger, I, I would really uh, get people that would ask for gang tattoos. It's kind, kind of something that I frown upon now because the danger that comes with it and marking yourself in such a way, kind of like, it's like you're putting a target on your face or whatever. I, I myself had gang tattoos on my face. At one point in time in my life, I actually removed them, and uh, I think he, I think now man, some of the kids ask me like, "Hey, I want to get the neighborhood tattooed on my face or whatever." There's a lot of other stupid ones like drunk people trying to get their girls' names or whatever. But for me, those are the stupidest ones in the sense of like how a kid or, or a young person wouldn't know what type of uh, repercussions that might hold. Like marking yourself in that way, you know, when you're young, you want to be a badass and you want to. Put stuff, put stuff on your body like that, um, not knowing it could ruin your life or, or they can take your life by having that. <laughs> uh, I, I remember when I was, uh, I was like 19 and this kid wanted to get hashtag swag on the inside of his arm. <laughs> but then there's tattoos that I've actually done where a guy got uh, flames around his ass <laughs> and Satan's den on each cheek. <laughs> Uh, the worst part about that was I, I thought he was kidding, and then um, he wasn't. Um, and when he dropped trowel, he was wearing a G-string, and this dude was like 60 years old. So he, he was an older man. And uh, the whole time he was showing me porn on his phone and like trying to like laugh with me, and like I, it was the weirdest thing. And I finished the tattoo, and it turns out the guy's like half blind, and the whole time he's showing me porn, I didn't know if he was like trying to like hit on me or what the hell was going on. So finding out he was half blind, it made it even weirder. Well, if, if you saw the crack, it went around that, and then it was Satan's den, like right in the middle of the flames. So that paints a good picture of what hell would look like. I don't think we could say it any better than that.